1998 GMC Jimmy up a control arm assembly R&R &R. pretty simple we'll start from the front 10 millimeter removes this ABS wire to a bracket I'm going to show you that in a little bit the bracket on the factory one is uh, riveted part of the board joint. The replacement one has a nut and bolt that you replace there. Uh, 13 millimeter removes the brake hose bracket and another reinforcement back there for this. 14 takes the upper control arm bushing off. 18 millimeters for the upper control arm bolts. Make sure you put a little scribe in there, you mark them so when you put the cam back, it goes sits back roughly where it is. You're gonna get have to, you're gonna have to get a wheel alignment after you, you replace it. But you can get as close as you can. Put a little scribe mark on there, so when you put the cam up there, it'll be lined up. The shocks have to come out only because the bolts will hit the rod. So while the shock is out, what do you think? Think you do? You replace the shock. No sense putting back the old one. Uh, the castellated nut for the board joint is 23 millimeters. Alright, and I'm going to show you what we have to do to get this bracket out. Other than that, fairly simple. Hold on, I'm going to transfer you over. Alright, here's that bracket I was talking to you about. Here's the bracket, a little nut bolt there that's a 10 millimeter bolt. And here's the rivet that you have to grind out. So over here, on this one, I started to take this one off. Use a little grinding wheel. Grinded it flush, the rivet. Then you take a little hammer, this should hammer out. Spin that right off. There you go. Okay, and the replacement one is a nut and bolt that comes with the package, comes with the control arm. See that? Simple. This goes in, the hose goes in there, and you're all done. Don't forget to get the wheel alignment. And look how shut these bushings are. Look at that. They've been around for a while. Alright, you got it. Ciao.